a blowout in Omaha, Nebraska. College Basketball Invitational presented by Zebra Pen. Creighton Blue Jays making their statement in writing, 82-64, winning over UCF to go to the finals. Kenny Rice here in Omaha, and we saw Doug McDermott get everything started. A sensational freshman had the first eight points of the game, had an assist for the 10th point, a 10-0 start for Creighton, leading by as many as 30 in this game and doing everything well. He saw your talk with winning coach Greg McDermott afterward. Coach, outstanding effort. You have to be really happy with how your team's played, not only tonight, but the last couple days. Well, we, we really have found our stride offensively. Unfortunately, it took us the middle of March to do that, but uh, tonight I thought we played better defense than we played against in our first two games in this tournament. And that's encouraging, because whether we play Oregon or Boise State, we're gonna have to crank it up in the defensive end. How important is it to ride this momentum and ride this crowd into the finals. Well, it's huge. You know, you, you have a guy like Gregory Echenique that has a career high again tonight. Doug played well. Josh Jones did some good things. Antoine once again. So you know, these are guys that are going to be back in our program next year. And besides extending the careers of our seniors, we're getting some valuable minutes on the floor uh, for these younger guys. Coach, a pleasure watching you guys play. Good luck in the finals. Thank you, not much to say about this game. It's exactly how the score reads. It was total domination tonight by Creighton, a team that during the regular season, Heath, scored 80 points or more on four occasions. They have scored at least 80 points in all three of their victories in the CBI, of course, including that record-setting 102 points uh, to defeat Davidson. Everything's clicking for them. Well, they're sharing the basketball. I mean, tonight they had 30 made field goals, Kenny, and all 23 of them from assists. When you share the ball, you're going to shoot a high percentage. And the other thing that was so big tonight is defensively, they got 25 points off turnovers. If you get 25 points off turnovers, you get 23 assists on 30 made field goals, you're going to have a good night. And, Kenny, tonight was a good night. If you have Antoine Young in your backcourt, you're going to have a good night. He had his first career double-double. Antoine with 16 points and 10 assists. I'll tell you what, he's just been phenomenal the entire tournament. 27 assists, zero turnovers. I mean, what can you say about this kid? I don't think he's played better at any time in his career than he's played in this tournament. He's done a little bit of everything, and he has been really, really good. Kenny Lawson, Jr., the senior out of Oceanside, California, comes up big with 11 points, five rebounds. I tell you what, you know, he is a kid. He's accepted his role. He, in the second half of the year, is coming off the bench. Just, I mean, what a huge luxury to bring a kid like that off the bench. Five guys in double figures. Gregory Echenique leading the way with a career-high 19. Echenique really made UCF pay by not double-teaming the post. They went single coverage on him all night. Here's a couple good looks at it, and he made US, excuse me, UCF pay all night. We take a look at our stats presented by Zebra Pen, and Heath, as you mentioned, the points in the turnover, the Jays were able to capitalize all the time. Fast break points, the Blue Jays 15 to six there. Everywhere you look, it was domination of all the stats and the game tonight. And that sets it up for Creighton now going on to the best of three championship series beginning Monday night. You can see all the action live here on HDNet. They get ready to take on either Boise State or Oregon. Most impressive, these Creighton Blue Jays. For Heath Schroyer, I'm Kenny Rice. So long from Omaha.